we're going to teach you how to change a tire. Once you realize you have a flat or blown out tire, reduce your speed, move cautiously to the shoulder, parking lot, or any level hard surfaced area. Stop the engine, put your car in park, put your emergency brake and emergency flashers on. Have all passengers get out of the car on the opposite side of traffic. Before we start, it's important to know dangers of changing your tire and the safety precautions you should take. Do not remove the tire while jacking up the vehicle because it may interfere with the jack and cause a serious accident. Do not go underneath the car and also do not use oil or grease on the bolts or nuts because you may, it, they may loosen the wheel and cause a serious accident. Do not run your engine while the car is on the jack. Also, do not place any object on top of or underneath the jack. Only raise the car high enough to change the tire. And finally, when you're doing any roadside maintenance, pull as far away as possible from moving traffic. This is because many people are injured or killed by a moving vehicle in traffic while doing maintenance. First, get the jack, wheel nut wrench, and the jack handle out of their compartment. You can find where both these tools are and how to remove your spare tire in your car's manual. This is the jack. This is the wheel nut wrench. And this is the jack handle. Find a large object like a rock or a wheel block if you have one to block the wheel diagonal from the flat tire. Such as this. Since we're changing the rear right tire, we must put the block up behind the front left tire. Oops. Loosen the wheel nuts by turning them counterclockwise, or you could carefully step on the end of the wheel nut wrench. Remove them in a star Do not remove the nuts just yet, just about one half. Position the jack at the correct jack point, which is found in your car's manual. Make sure that the jack is positioned on a level, solid surface. Insert the jack handle into the jack and turn it clockwise. Raise it high enough that the spare tire can be installed. Remember that the spare tire will take up more space than the flat tire. As the jack touches the car and begins to lift, double check that it is properly positioned. Remove the wheel nuts entirely. Put them in a safe place where you cannot lose them.
lift the flat tire straight off and put it aside. Be careful. If the tire is very worn, metal lining may be exposed and can cut you. Align the spare tire on the bulk and slide it on. the nuts by hand. Use the wheel nut wrench to tighten the nuts, once again in a star pattern. Lower the jack by turning it counterclockwise. the wheel nut wrench to tighten the nuts completely. You may use your foot to completely tighten the nuts because the vehicle is no longer on the jack. your tools and put your flat tire in the tire bag provided in the tool compartment. While using a spare tire, do not drive above 50 miles per hour or for more than 3,000 miles. Try to find a mechanic or garage as soon as possible to get a standard tire.